So today we're going to show you how different products react to altitude simulation tests. First of all, we are going to see how this water bottle, it's half filled, how it's going to react inside a chamber with positive pressure, simulating a change in altitude from a higher elevation to a lower one. First, we're going to open. These are special clamps designed to maintain the lid closed. Now we're gonna set the chamber to positive pressure of 150 millibar. As you can see, the positive pressure has caused the water bottle to compress and deform. This is what happens with products when they may be subjected to positive pressure change. If this kind of deformation happens to a product, a company may use different methods to solve the problem. One can be a design in order to control deformation. Other can be using resistant materials that will withstand the pressure. Or also, some companies may even inject nitrogen into their product. Using a vacuum chamber, you can simulate change in atmospheric pressure from a lower point to a higher altitude. That's why we're gonna use this product and insert it inside the vacuum chamber to see how it's going to behave. Now, in order to close this lid, the vacuum sucks it in. You don't need to use clamps. In this test, we are going to simulate a difference in pressure of minus 300 millibar. See how the product reacts? It will expand. So now we've made it higher too. When we increase the level of vacuum or negative pressure, the expansion was so great that our product popped. If you're interested in knowing more about this kind of testing and the applications that Devasi has created for them, you should check out our webpage. If you like this video and you want to check out more experiments, click here and watch our other videos.